now i am going to discuss with you third question in the exercise 1 so the question is find the equation of the locus of a point p such that the distance of p from the origin is twice the distance of p from a of 1 comma 2 okay so in the given question according to the given question so we should draw a diagram first okay so draw a coordinate axis so x axis y axis so this is the origin so origin is 0 comma 0 okay so 1 point 2 so one of the point is given a that is 1 comma 2 so 1 comma 2 means suppose here you can assume the point 1 comma 2 so what he is said in the given question from this origin okay so the e, we need to find the equation of the locus that is you can consider one point here that is the point to p b let the point to p of x comma y be on the locus so this point you can consider p of x comma y we don't know that point on the locus so you can consider one point that point is on the locus so here this p is so from the distance to the to this p from the origin is okay twice the distance from origin to the from the point a so this distance is so two times double to the double to the this distance they're said so like that we need to find the locus equation okay so this distance is double to the this one that means we can write op equal to suppose if it is 5 units this op is becomes 10 units okay that means how we are going to make equal so that is op equal to 2 pa po equal to you can write 2 pa that means 2 po is how much 10 units 2 pa so 2 pa is how much 5 2 into 5 10 then then these two are equal so according to the given condition so this is the point b like that we can satisfy many points so that equation we are going to find so the given point is the given point the given point a is 1 comma 2 and so what we are assuming here let the point to be let the point to be point P of x comma y be on the locus. So then according to the given how we are going to write according to the given geometrical condition is the point to be satisfied so we assumed that point p be the on the locus then this point p to be satisfied the geometrical condition is given geometrical condition is is that is po equal to 2 times of pa okay so the distance between p and o that is x minus this is you can consider x1 y1 x2 y2 okay x2 minus x1 that is x minus 0 square root of x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 y2 minus y1 whole square equal to 2 times of pa pa is how much we got now p is this is x2 y2 this is x1 y1 that is now it becomes so square root of x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square okay now square root on squaring on both side do the square squaring on both side squaring on both sides so then it becomes 
so if you do the square root so square root square root cancel so here x minus 0 x so square root of x square y minus 0 y y square whole square equal to 2 root over x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square so whole again square so we are squaring on both sides so 2 square is how much 4 and this square square root get cancelled so we can write square square root cancel x square plus y square equal to 2 into so 2 into 2 square is 4 so 4 into x minus 1 whole square square root cancel plus y minus 2 whole square so you can simplify that See, I am right, uh, rubbing the diagram, so I am writing here, next step, so x square plus y square equal to, so 4 into, simplify that inside the x minus 1 whole square, a minus b whole square formula, that is x square minus 2x plus 1 and plus y minus 2 whole square plus y square y minus 2 whole square, y square minus 4y plus 4, so minus 4y plus 4, so this we can write x square plus y square equal to, that is 4 into x square, 4x square minus 4 into minus 2x minus 8x plus 4 plus y square, four, sorry, plus 4y square minus 16y plus 60. Okay, so now this x square and y are transpose left side, it becomes 4x square minus x square plus 4y square minus y square minus 8x minus 16y plus 16 equal to 0. So 4x square minus x square, 3x square plus 4y square minus y square, 3y square minus 8x minus 16y plus 16 equal to 0. So, this is the required equation, required equation of the locus. Okay, next question. Find the equation of the locus of a point which is equidistant from the coordinate axis, which is equidistant from the coordinate axis they are given. So, we need to draw a diagram first at find the equidistance of a locus, there is no point is given, okay, coordinate axis, from the coordinate axis, there must be equal distance, see, if you draw a diagram, so that point, we need to mark a point that is, from the coordinate axis, equal distance, so this distance equal to this distance, suppose, you are 1 comma 1, this point becomes 1 comma 1, that means, from here to, from y axis, the distance is 1 unit, from y, y x axis the unit must be one unit like that suppose if you take this point okay this is 2 comma 2 that means from y axis the distance is 2 and from x from x axis the distance is 2 so that is c equidistance from the coordinate axis okay so we don't know that point just we can assume that let the point p x comma y c you can consider one point which is equidistance that is p of x comma y this and here x and y are equal because this distance equal to this distance equidistance okay this equal to this next this distance from here to here so on the y axis if it is x so on the x axis the coordinates are x comma 0 and uh, this point you can consider, we obtain, okay, so point P, so from the point P intersects, so if you draw a line like that, the point A x comma 0, this, this point, and this point B, this point you can consider B, that is on the x, on the y axis, y axis spina, the coordinate, the point becomes 0 comma y, it becomes on the y axis the point B coordinates are 0 comma y ok so we need to find the equation so equidistance means PA equal to PB 
and x is equal to y this distance that is yes x is nothing but 5 comma 5 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 minus 1 comma minus 1 like that okay so by using that so equidistance means we can write pa equal to pb okay so the points obtain the coordinate axis are point a is x comma 0 and point b are o comma y where x is equal to y okay so then we can write let the let the point p of x comma y be on the locus okay so from the diagram from the figure we can write the co coordinates of a is x comma 0 and the co and b coordinates of b is 0 comma y they given okay so then according to the given geometrical condition we can write according to the given geometrical condition okay that is pa equal to pb okay so now this is you can consider x1 x2 y1 y2 so pa means x minus square root of x minus x whole square plus y minus 0 whole square equal to x minus 0 whole square x minus 0 whole square square root of x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 okay so y minus y whole square which is equal to x minus x 0 so it is becomes y y minus 0 y y square will come it is this is equal to x square will come square root of x square okay so both side you can cancel the roots then we can write y square equal to x square so this if you transpose that y square left side it becomes x square minus y square equal to 0 so this is the required equation for this question okay so this is the equation for the equidistance from the coordinate action the locus of the equation for the given question Okay. okay, now I am going to discuss with you fifth question that find the equation of the locus of a point equidistance from a 2 comma 0 and y axis. Okay, so first we should draw a diagram for this. Okay, see let us see. A diagram draw just say make clear, make it clear cut to cut my both on the diagram not the just current by the inchandi first you have to try to understand the diagram okay see from the information we need to do the diagram find the equation of the locus of a point equidistance from a 2 comma 0 so 2 comma 0 means so on the x axis it will be that is you can take one point here a so 2 comma 0 and y axis so we need to mark a point that is we need uh, the point and the locus so what we have to assume the point and the locus p p of x comma y that is you can take somewhere here p of x comma y so this point so from this and from x y axis so here this means if you draw from this p if you draw a perpendicular to the y axis if you draw a perpendicular to the y axis so it becomes the distance becomes this distance is x, x only now p of x comma y means 
so this if you draw a perpendicular to the x-axis so this distance is year to year from x-axis to point P is the distance is y from y-axis to point P is the distance is x so then the point we can denote as P of x comma y yes so what he is saying from this point P how much distance it will be there so that much distance from A so these two becomes equal so this you can take a suppose if you draw a perpendicular from P so that line is intersect on the x-axis some other point B so the coordinates are coordinates of B on the y uh, coordinates of B on the y-axis is 0 comma y the coordinates of point B are 0 comma y so P of x comma y so these two distances are equal so PB is equal to is nothing but a, the distance x Yes, this distance is how much you will get x only ok so now we need to make so equidistance from the y axis that means PB equal to PA so like the suppose if we take point P of x comma y is equal to here so this distance and this distance must be same and if you take here this distance and this distance must be same so this distance also if you draw it this is equal to x only this is equal to if you take here p, p of x comma y now this is becomes x like that ok so now from that so I am taking some other point that is here you can take p of x comma y ok so mark a point and here one point so these two distances are equal so this distance is equal to if you draw a perpendicular it becomes x distance only ok so on the on the y axis if, if you draw a perpendicular this will intersect at b so coordinates of b are x 0 comma y ok so now we need to make according to the condition these two are the point P is equidistance from y axis and from this point A ok so you can write solution I am writing here the given point the given point A of 2 comma 0 ok and uh, let let the point be let the point p of x comma y be on the locus let the point p of x comma y be on the locus ok so from the diagram the coordinates of b from the diagram the coordinates of b equal from the diagram the point p equal to point P equal to point B equal to 0 comma Y ok so now you can write that is so according to the given geometrical condition according to the given geometrical condition geometrical condition that we can write P A equal to P B P A equal to P B so now P A is how much so it, now this is X1 Y1 this is X2 Y2 ok so P A that is uh, X, X minus 2 whole square so square root of x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square and the pb now so now this is x1 this is y1 so x2 minus x1 square root of x minus 0 whole square plus y minus y whole square so that is equal to x2 if you do the cancellation both side square root if you do the cancellation so now x minus 2 whole square we can write as x square minus 4x plus 4 expand this is y minus 0 y only y square is y square we can write and here so y minus y 0 so 0 whole square so x minus 0 whole square so x square 
So this x square, send left side, it becomes x square minus x square minus 4x plus 4 plus y square equal to 0. So minus x square plus x square cancel. So this we can write. So y square equal to this minus 4x and plus 4 you can transpose left side. This minus 4x becomes plus 4x and this plus 4 becomes minus 4. Okay. So this is the required equation of the locus. Therefore, the required equation of the locus is y square equal to 4x minus 4. You can write lastly. Okay. So this is the solution for this question. Okay. If you understand the diagram, it will be easy to you understand. Next. Next question we have. Find the e equation of a locus of a point P. The square of whose distance from the origin is 4 times its y coordinate. 4 times its y coordinate is. So, equation of the locus. First, we need to draw a diagram that I am drawing a diagram that C. y axis x axis so origin origin we can consider as 0 comma 0 so find the equation of a locus of a point p the square of the distance distance from the origin is so we, we don't know that point point you can consider so anywhere that is you can consider p of x comma y so from this distance the square of this distance is the square of this distance is okay so 4 times to the 4 times to the y coordinate what is the y coordinate we have y so that means suppose if it is 5 means 4 times to the y so this this distance is suppose if it is uh, suppose 40 units is there means y coordinate become 10 y coordinate must be 10 so this is this distance is square of this distance is 4 times yes this distance is almost 40 so then it becomes 40 so 10, 4 times to the y coordinate this distance is 4 times to the y coordinate yes or no suppose if it is 20 it becomes 80 suppose if it is 5 it becomes 20 like that okay so we can write Let, let the point P, point P of x comma y be on the locus. So, so if point P of x comma y be on the locus, then according to the given geometrical condition, according to the given geometrical condition is condition is that so p o p is the square of the the square of the whose distance from the origin is so you can write the distance between origin and p is okay that is square root of p a equal to square of the p a square is equal to p a square so square of the distance is p a square equal to 4 times to the y coordinate. What is the y coordinate? We assumed y. So y coordinate, 4 times of y is 4y. This is the condition we need to prove. So PA is how much? That is, so PA is nothing but a PA whole square. So x minus x, x2, y2, x1, y1. So that is, so then it becomes, this is you can consider x1, y1 x2 y2 so what is the distance formula x2 minus x1 whole square so x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square so square root 
this is the distance p p a whole square means square so which is equal to 4 y so you can cancel square square root cancel so x minus 0 x x square plus y minus 0 y square equal to 4 y so this 4 y you can press on left side so x square plus y square minus 4 y equal to 0 therefore the required equation of the locus is the required the required locus locus equation locus equation of the locus is equation of the locus is locus is x square plus y square minus 4y equal to 0 okay so this is the question next question 